Hey there, this is Clay with ModernLove.Life, and this is Relationship Inner Game. Now, this video is going to be a continuation on a series that we're going through on what your ex is thinking and what is going on in their mind and in their heart uh, in the process of you interacting with them and you communicating with them. In this particular video, we're going to talk about what it means if your ex says, maybe in the future. You know, so maybe you're talking with your ex, maybe you're interacting with them, maybe you're texting them or something, and you float out the idea of, you know, possibly getting back together. Or maybe your ex just comes out of the blue and says, hey, maybe at some point in the future we could get back together. Or maybe at some point in the future we could give this relationship another try. What exactly does this mean and where is this coming from? And in order to answer this, you have to understand that we have this continuum of five stages of getting back together, right? We've talked about this in other videos. We've talked about this on our website, uh, modernlove.life. And what this really means is that your ex is kind of moving through this emotional process as they go from, you know, being very closed off to interacting with you to kind of slowly opening up to you and eventually starting to see a future together with you. Maybe that means getting back together. Maybe that means dating each other or whatever. But if you're ex says maybe to the future what it means is that you're not in this early early stage here stuff your ex is not like totally walled off against you or anything like that but you're not over here at the very end of the rainbow so to speak at what we call new beginnings where your ex is very eager to want to be in a relationship with you you're kind of in this middle ground and what happens in this middle ground is that your ex is having this tug of war back and forth with their emotions part of them wants to interact with you part of them wants to be with you part of them wants to spend time with you part of them maybe even wants to get together with you. But there's another part of them that wants to pull away. There's a part of them that remembers all the pain and all of the baggage and all of the emotional history and all of the drama that happened before, during, and after the breakup, right? They remember all the fights. They remember all the screaming and yelling. They remember all the crying. They remember all of the whatever happened, right? And so there's this duality. There's this back and forth between these two emotional forces. So if your ex says maybe in the future, it means that they are enjoying the quality of the connection that you're having right now. They're remembering the good times. They're enjoying the connection that the two of you are having in this moment as well. The two of you are connecting right now. But there's still that footprint, that memory, that lingering after effect of the poor emotional experience, all the stuff that led up to the breakup, all the stuff that happened before, during, and after the breakup, all of the arguments, all of the things that didn't feel good, right? And so what's happening is that these two forces are kind of pulling back and forth. There's part of your ex that says, yes, yes, let's, let's, let's get together, let's, let's be close again. But there's another part of them that says, oh wait, Last time that happened, I got burned really bad. I want to keep this a little bit distant. So they say, maybe in the future, right? That way they don't have to decide right now. They don't have to make a decision right now. They don't have to put their heart on the line right now. And so what it means you should do at this point if you want to get back together with your ex is you need to understand that they're coming from this place of confusion. They're coming from this place of duality. And what you need to do is you need to shift the focus of the interaction from being relationship focused, right? Oftentimes when it comes to getting back together with an ex, we are very relationship focused. We want to really lock that down. We want to have the, the conversation about getting back together. We want to have the conversation about being exclusive again. We want to make it official. We want to log into Facebook and update our relationship status from you know single or it's complicated or whatever to in a relationship instead of being relationship focused because that can scare your ex off what you want to do is you want to stay connection focused you don't want to really keep their focus on these like big decisions if they're hesitant if they're not sold on the idea of the two of you getting back together at this point you want to focus on the connection instead because as long as the connection feels good they're going to continue to want to spend time with you and as long as they're going to continue to spend time with you and the connection continues to feel good they're going to spend more and more and more time with you. And the more time they spend with you, the more of a relational history and the more of an emotional foundation the two of you will have of closeness, of bonding and connection that'll bring the two of you together. And over time, this will cause them to feel much more comfortable saying yes to you in the future. So if you want to learn more about how to uh, really stay connection focused and how to help your ex 
feel more comfortable interacting with you so that you can build that solid foundation of emotional connection that will eventually lead the two of you back together, here's what I'd like you to do. Head down below this video if you're watching this over on our website, modernlove.life, and you'll find a link that'll take you to a page where you'll learn more about how to have these deep, strong, powerful emotional connections with your ex through developing what we call advanced relational skills. And these are the kinds of skills that will really open the doorway to your ex's heart and allow the two of you to connect in a much more meaningful and deeper way. Again, that will be down below this video. If on the other hand, you are watching this video over on YouTube, what I'd like you to do is also head down below this video and there will be a link in the description box for a website called relationshipinnergame.com. Go ahead and click on that link and it'll take you over to relationshipinnergame.com and you can go ahead and fill out a short, painless little 30 second survey that'll just give me a sense about what's going on specifically with you. What's going on specifically with your ex? How long has it been? You know, is your ex a man or a woman? You know, just, just some basic simple stuff like that. Again, it should be completely harmless. It should take only 30 seconds. And once I know a little bit more about what's going on, I'll send you some advice, tips, and strategies that will help you to start making that more meaningful emotional connection with your ex. Anyway, that is again down below this video, no matter where you are. And um, yeah, this has been Clay with Modern Love Not Life. And I hope this video has helped you improve your relationship in her game. Talk to you next time.